So my name is Sylvia de Roy. I'm the general counsel from Hero and Marine Contractors, but also a member of the Legal and Contracts Committee of IMCA. So we heard a lot about challenges, FIDIC challenges, insurance challenges, general industry challenges. So now let's look at solutions. For the renewable sector to be sustainable, the unfair allocation of risk of the offshore construction contractors has to be corrected. The renewable contracting principles provide a guidance on how this can be achieved. Like Ian said, we published these principles early this year, along with an accompanying guidance document. Given that these principles were already successfully used in the offshore construction contracts, we also believe that they can contribute to a successful and sustainable renewable projects. And then it's important that all stakeholders work together in collaboration. So what is important on these principles? That is the fair allocation of risk. That's a fundamental principle um, that is based on a thought that, the, um, that there is an equitable um, allocation of risk between the employer or the company and the contractor. Case will say a little bit more about this principle in detail, but that's the fundamental principle on which we based all of the other principles. These contracting principles are available for anybody to use. We do not make them mandatory for everybody. And everybody is, of course, free to negotiate their own contracts with the other counterparty uh, so that you come to a result which is beneficiary for both parties, because that's the aim. If we look at these principles, IMCA has had already a set of contracting principles to serve the offshore construction industry. And they are understood by all stakeholders. So for the main part, the offshore renewable contracting principles mirror these contracting principles in terms of variation, suspension, termination, knock-for-knock -knock indemnities, intellectual property, assignment, dispute resolution, access to site, etc. I won't go into detail on all of these principles, what they say, but I highlight some of the ones which are adjusted or which are new. One of the things is performance standards and warranties. The usual warranty principles of exclusion of implied liabilities, limitation in time, remedy and kept exposure are still relevant. But also the following should apply. Serial defects should be limited to pre-agreed circumstances and a threshold. There should be no separate design life warranty, fitness for purpose, and all of these type of uh, warranty obligations. No extended warranty period and limited to the re-performance of contractor scope of work. And companies should have the burden of proof. We believe this is an important uh, principle also in view of what Marianne just said on the FIDIC contract, which is regularly used or preferred by the developers. Then aligning with what Amr just said on the insurances, we believe that in, when it comes to the permanent work, the contractor should have a kept responsibility for loss or damage of the permanent work caused by contractor group, and companies should provide a constructional risk policy which aligns with this indemnity regime. However, like Amber just said, that we don't see a comprehensive insurance cover in the market as, it, as we've seen it with oil and gas or in the past in wind. And therefore, if this cannot be provided, company must hold harmless the contractor group above its capped responsibility and be able to demonstrate its financial ability to meet this obligation. There are also some additional principles for renewables and they're basically added to also counter the uh, contracts that we see from the developer's uh, side. 
So notification of claims, like Amber said, also on the FIDIC, there are a lot of time bars. We are ensuring that contractors are still able to submit valid claims within a reasonable time to give employer the opportunity to ascertain the consequences and to take an informed decision. Then the role of the company representative or the engineer. The contractor requires certainty in relation to receiving instructions and or variations from the company representative. So we need to know what hat this person is wearing. Also, assignment and innovation, uh, it should be subject to the other party's consent or comply with pre-agreed conditions. This is to ensure that the contractor has certainty in the future management and timely payment of the contract. Interface management is something that we see is much bigger in the wind project. So there should be an agreed interface matrix for working with other contractors, but we strongly believe that the coordination obligations should rest with the company because the company hires all of these different contractors. Then programming. Contractors should have a right for day-to-day -day extensions in the event for any delays that are not due to the contractor's fault. Then dispute resolution. Clear and speedy multi-tiered dispute resolution mechanisms are needed to avoid delays in the project. And all of these projects are executed offshore by highly specialized vessels and they are scarce in the market. So the contractors need certainty as to the period when the contractor has to provide these assets because contractors also have other commitments for other clients. And another important one is client needs to remain responsible for accuracy, correctness and sufficiency of the information they provide. These are all key principles. Of course, they're all key principles, all 28, but these are some of the new ones added. And we believe these principles are a good starting point to have a dialogue on what is a fair contracting and that is needed to be sustainable in the wind uh, industry. Of course, we also thought about what is next? We have these principles, we have a nice starting point, but of course we don't want to go back to a bad contracting template, but we also want to have a good starting point for the contract. So that's why we created the contract. And Case will say a little bit more about that. Thank you.